YouTube, this by far is one of the easiest ways to get your your um video demonetized. So if you ever get one of these copyright claims, you can easily um get around it by putting some licensed music in there. Or if you do have licensed music in there, you can just go in here and get the licensing for it. So basically, if you've already used Adobe Stock, you can go select Action, and you can dispute it if you already have If you already have the license for it, if you have a license for it, then you can dispute it. Continue. Then you're gonna select license. And it shows you like the actual song. You can hit play. You go down here, hit continue. Then you, it tells you right here, I have permission to use the content from the copyright owner. Hit continue. And then what you'll do is you'll paste the code, the licensing code that you get from, let me go back here, Adobe Stock. So you can go to Adobe Stock and you can buy licensed music. And it's real, it's real simple. Instead of, you know, just trying to use other, like, licensed music. Because it, it can take forever in the day to get, like, actual actual songs that we actually all enjoy. Like, popular music. It, that can take a while to, to acquire those licenses. But you can come to Adobe Stock. And you, you can actually buy licensed music to put into your YouTube videos and channels. Then, once you get the, the license, you hover over this and they give you the code. You right-click and they give you the code. You copy the license you go back here and then you dispute it right here you check all these boxes and then you put your full name you have to put your full name and then you hit submit and most of the time on um, i've seen it get turned around as fast as an hour on a dispute claim i've seen it you know get turned around real fast if you already have the license or you get the or you acquire the license using Adobe stock. Now, if you're, if you're using music, that's not that, you know, you can't get the license for right away. I would just go back and I would select, you know, replace music and then maybe try to find some music on Adobe stock. 